He's bringing musical theater to new heights. Washington Heights, that is. Lin-Manuel Miranda's musical, In the Heights, a play about Latino immigrants living at the top of Manhattan, became an unexpected hit this year. Now he tops the list of nominees with no less than 13 Tony nods. And yes, you can bet, right now, he's on top of the world. Uh, it's been really gratifying to see how we've been embraced um, by, by the theater community, by the other shows. And because, uh, you know, when you get to this level, everyone who's here has worked very hard to get here. When Manuel first wrote his script, he was a homesick college student in Connecticut, far away from his beloved bodegas. So when he finally made it big, he made sure to take a little bit of home with it. I, I loved musicals, but I always thought you had to write about Paris in the 18th century or London or, you know, whatever, for, or cats. And uh, I wanted to write about <clears throat> my neighborhood. And uh, I wanted to use, I wanted to sound as much like my neighborhood as possible. Now, if Lynn Miranda's play feels a little familiar, that's because it was produced by the same people who brought us another wildly successful original play about a group of misfits also struggling to make it in New York. Rent was the first show I saw that took place now in the frickin' village. And, uh, and what it did was give me permission to write about what I know. And what he knows is exactly what's given this musical a little more street cred than most. You know, hip-hop is only a little older than me. Uh, it's our generation's music, and I wanted to use the Latin music I grew up with. The whole thing about the show is it's all about home, and, and home being where you define it, um, because it's, there's no easy answer to that. As for Miranda, he's found a new home on the Great White Way. Not bad for the new kid on the block. Shamion Antoine, CBS News on Logo, New York.